Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome to another episode of the FIFA 18 Everton Career Mode, and we are about a just a little under a week away from finishing the January transfer window, and then that will be that. We will not be able to bring in any more signings for the entire season. As you may have noticed, we have an FA Cup fixture. It's only our it's only the fourth round of the FA Cup, yet we've already picked up Chelsea, which is great. So we can't catch a break and not get, oh, I don't know, any other team that isn't in the Premier League, let alone bloody Chelsea. But I'm going to play that game. Hopefully we're going to do much better than the 3-0 loss that we last had when we played Chelsea quite recently. So we're going to hope for better. But anyway, I am in the shortlist, as you can see. There are a couple of players I might still go for in this window, but I don't think I'll make any massive, huge money transfers or anything like that. As a matter of fact, the biggest transfer I'm probably going to go for is this goalkeeper, Paul Lopez. The way I see it, I, I would like to have a slightly better backup goalkeeper. Uh, and if possible, we could just get this man literally on a pre-contract. So all we have to do is pay his wages. I'm fine with that. There's also a couple of other younger, lower rated players in here that, to be totally honest, I would just like to buy for the sake of having them. Slowly watch them develop over time, get up in their overall, maybe start training a few of them. Who knows? There are definitely some good players in here, like Phil Fodden and Birahim Diaz, like some guys that are really making a name for themselves over at Man, uh, Man City, and then some others here and there. But I'm going to save all of that for the deadline day, which is only five days away. I want to focus on the two games that we have left in January, and then we'll get into the transfers. The best team that I can play is going out there, because again, want to go far in the FA Cup if possible. Definitely want to get past Chelsea here. Let's see if we can get a bit of revenge for our 3-0 loss in the Premier League to them. Come on. So I'm not taking it easy on Chelsea with my lineup, and their starting 11 looks pretty strong too. They've actually sold, by the way, Diego Costa. So now Morata starts for them. Drinkwater's in, Fabregas is in. They've still got their five in the back. And that defense, it looks quite similar, doesn't it? Like Willian, Hazard, Morata. Man, now we're rocking with an actual proper Chelsea team, sort of similar to how they run at the moment. I don't have to worry about the Conte uh, Bakayoko uh I don't have to worry about the Conte Bakayoko partnership, so hopefully, maybe, we can find our way into that back five uh, defense a little bit easier. Ah, poor defense on Zappa Costa. He's still going in the whole way here. He's fallen down in the... Oh my god, a penalty! I feel like the contact occurred so much later, like outside the box, and he delayed his fall. Oh no, I need to see a replay here. Where was the tackle here on Zappa Costa? There's the bump. Oh, he's put his foot across him again. Why? I definitely was not trying to do that. I thought the contact that I initiated was outside the box, that bump, and that was it. And now Hazard, who absolutely tore me a new one last time. I'm hoping he'll go left. No, he's... Oh my god, the little prick. The cheeky motherfucker. He's done it. He's done it again. He did it against Newcastle, and now he's done it to me. The chip, the fucking prick. I should have seen him coming. Super annoying to give up the penalty within 10 minutes, and the chip... That's gone into the side netting. It's actually not even... It's landed outside of the goal... Or bef ahead of the goal line. Jesus Christ. If I'd gone the right way and not saved that, that would have been scenes. I was definitely not trying when I wanted to go in and tackle and contest for that ball. For you to just throw your fucking foot across his. That's the most obvious penalty I've ever seen. Oh, Williams won that header. Fucking Moses in the air is a disgrace. He really is. The ball was right there, Victor Moses. What are you fucking doing? Willian got on the wrong side of him again. Victor Moses, how, how many times could you piss me off? How many more times could you piss me off in the span of about fucking 10 seconds? Oh, huge moment in the game. This, right up the middle. Go. Oh, don't tell me Batchwise. Gonna... Nah, come on. Gotta go backward here. Cross. It's there. Oh, David Louise got a little header to it. Play. Yes! There we go! Oh, navigating our way in between the tight spaces, right in front of goal. Found a way to get it to Rooney, who had to shoot it first time and scores. 1-1. One, one. Look at this, the header. Look at all the bodies there that we are just finding a way through. Brilliant stuff. Rooney, after taking the shot too, goes down awkwardly. He actually, you can't see it, but he holds his knee. I don't know if he's injured. He doesn't appear to be. He's still running around okay. That's good signs. And Moses fucking slow again, and now Marcus Alonso is away. Oh, look at this defense. Fabregas, too. Oh, my. Did you see that massive, massive space right in front of goal? Poor fucking Pickford. Victor Moses got absolutely done with the overlapping run of... Oh, look at that. When you when you cut it in to the middle like that, and... Th oh, the seed... I, Idris Agana Gay, and I don't know what the fuck that's... I don't know how we got that spin on that ball, but what is Idris Agana Gay 
and McCarthy, James McCarthy. What are they fucking doing? Because right now, I have got no support for my back four. I do not have a leg to stand on in saying that we deserve to have anything from this game because we've been a bit poor. We just had one good move that we got a goal from. But apart from that, Chelsea all over us. Seriously dominating. Rooney with a good tackle. Back in the middle. That's the thing, man. You make a tackle, and as soon as you get the ball back, you've already got surrounded. But you're already surrounded. Oh, jeez. This is getting a bit too fucking out of hand right now. Hazard versus Moses. Moses is actually... I can't believe it. He was so trash for me in the first, and now he may have started a counter-attack that could lead to a goal. James McCarthy on the end of it. I'm not sure about this. James McCarthy! Oh, it's saved! Rooney on the rebound! 2-2! He's got... Oh, he's on a brace! Oh, he's not on a brace. He's on a hat-trick. He's got himself a brace. Oh, of all people to lead the fast break, I was not too keen on it being James McCarthy. Saved by Courtois. Comes off the crossbar. Rooney's there to head home into an empty net. That's one of the easiest goals he'll ever get. And there we go. We're still in this contest. We are somehow sticking with Chelsea. But now we need to play smart. As good a half as we possibly can. And I can sense it in the middle. Good ball. Oh, Rooney Courtois. That was nearly three. Nearly got it. If only he was able to just maybe dink it over the keeper somehow. But no. I'd ideally like someone to throw to, guys. Anybody at all. Decent delivery at that. Indeed. Oh my god. How has that not gone in? Another save by Courtois. That goes in off of the post. And now my left back's out of position. Maybe now up the middle. Yeah, this is good. Sigurdsson. Fake shot. And... That's a heavy fucking touch. Back post, maybe? No. Batshuayi chest. Shot. Oh, it's off target. I can sense up the middle here. Wayne Rooney, no bad pass. But then another equally bad pass. Sigurdsson. Rooney. Please, where are the options? Batshuayi, I can see it making a run. But I still can't get it to him. Oh, one of their players has fallen over. Rooney in the... Oh, slide tackle. I couldn't squeeze it through to him. And then Moses was going to pick it off. But we, didn't... Oh, we couldn't get another attack. Referee wouldn't give it to us. And it will be 2-2. And a replay against Chelsea in the FA Cup tie. Fuck! Well, now we have to go to Sanford Bridge and do it all over again. That's, yeah, awesome. Wayne Rooney again scoring all the goals for Everton. That is just a running theme in this career mode. He may be sitting on about 20 goals already. I am going to check, like, stats and overall growth and things like that uh, when we're finished in January. But, man, I'm telling you what. Oh my god, Rooney has scored so many goals, it's freakish. We'll quickly sim this Premier League game at home, yes, against Leicester City, and just hopefully get it out of the way, hopefully get a good result. It's another 2-2 draw, just like the game against Chelsea, it ends with a 2-2 draw. And now we are in deadline day. Alright then, so, like I said, I wasn't really keen on buying too many players, but I'm going to pick up a few here and there. Firstly, we'll start with a loan offer for Tom Davies. I haven't really been playing him that much, to be fair, and I'd like to see his overall get up a little higher, so... Cardiff City for a year, I can accept that. Hopefully he comes back next season at some point and could be good. 75 overall, yes, we could definitely justify giving him games, but I mean, if we're not really playing him that much already, I don't see the point. So here's the first signing I'm going for. It's going to be Paul Lopez, the 23-year-old uh, goalkeeper who was in the last year of his contract. I want to get him on a pre-contract, just bring him over to Everton for free since I think he could hopefully do a pretty decent job for us as like a backup goalkeeper, uh, a goalkeeper we play in cup competitions if... Pickford would ever get injured, then for sure, yeah, we could go for him. And I, I'd, I'd just be a lot safe. I, I'd feel a lot better having a nice backup goalkeeper rather than Joel Robles, even though he's not necessarily a poor goalkeeper by any means. But that mid seventy overall, this guy's got a good potential. So yeah, let's go for him. Prospect sporadic, crucial. Well, that's that then. I mean, I'd have to accept the important squad role of where we're going to sign him. All right, fine. We'll give it to him, but uh, he's yeah, definitely not going to be an important squad role player. I'll bring the wage back down to 40 just to round it off because I do like it being nice and well rounded off. I'm going to continue to increase the count to like 20 and stuff it again. I'll, I'll bump it up even more. I'm just doing this because I know I'm never going to have to give him this cash. So stuff it. All right, sweet. Increased it just that little bit more. And he looks to be happy with the 40 grand. Very good stuff. All right, so we've signed Paul Lopez, our backup goalkeeper. The fact that he's on an important first, uh, important first team squad role may be concerning, but if he's going to start whining, then whatever. Next player I'm putting in an offer for is going to be Philo Kerr, if that's how we pronounce it. He's a centre back that can also play right back and left back. To me, he's like the perfect bench player. We could literally have him on the bench, and if we need to replace anyone in our back four, apparently he can play that role. He looks terrific. He's in the last year of his contract, so we could get him for cheap. Let's go for it. My chief executive said I could get him for less than seven million, but I'm going to start it at seven. It's under his current value. I wonder if he's going to do 
uh, and Antonio Conte and just storm out absolutely just livid. Nope, he's fine with it. He just wants a 2% sell-on clause. Are you kidding me with that? I am not going to be the asshole that I usually am and try to barter him down to a 1% selling clause. I'm just going to fucking take that. Hell yeah, son. We got a deal. Even if we end up selling this guy in the future for like $100 million, if he becomes the best center back of all time, that is still fuck all. 100%. I am going to take that deal. And now begin the contract negotiations and hopefully this time the agent's a lot less of a dickhead. So we're the ones that get to set the wage. I'm going to slightly increase on what he currently has, give him a $1 million signing bonus. And you know what, we'll start it off with that, come on. Now they've come at me with a 28.5 grand wage and less appearances and less bonus, man. This is, it's so weird. Oh my God, you know what, fuck it, I can't be asked. That is his wage, that's what he's getting, whatever. Welcome into the team then, the job's done. Oh, sometimes I'm just gonna, I've, I've gotta stop bartering for such small amounts over players' contracts and in transfer negotiations. I've gotta stop because I, I'm not gonna get anywhere if I keep doing this. The next play I'm going for has to be Phil Fodden. I mean, the fact that I could get this man apparently for less than two million and his wages, or should I say his value is only 1.7, but I mean, I don't really care. This guy looking like he's about to become a big, big player in the future. And if we can get him for cheap, like that cheap, then yeah, I wanna get him. I've got Birahim Diaz as well, another Manchester City center attacking midfielder. It maybe doesn't make sense to sign the two of them, but to be honest, part of me just wants to say, fuck it and do it. Just get the two of them, watch them slowly go up in our in our reserves and maybe, maybe give one or two of them a game every now and again. And just later on in the future, sell them off for cash. It just makes sense. It's a solid investment. So for these ones, I'm just gonna delegate to buy and literally start the offer at that. Don't go any higher than that. You know what? It's fine. It's it's absolutely F all. And the exact same for Birahim Diaz, start the offer at, or start the offer at 1.5. Don't go any higher than that. Sweet, bang. Even if uh, we can only get one of them, I don't mind. Because if it's one thing that Everton needs, it's more center attacking midfielders. It's more number 10s. Anyway, loan offer for Luke Garbutt. We have an agreement on the Birahim Diaz deal, 1.5. Less than his value and a transfer offer for Leighton Baines. If I can get some cash for Leighton Baines, I'm going to do it. And then just have Marvin Plattenhart my starting left back. Luke Garbutt too, now that I have brought in Ryan Sessegnon and Marvin Plattenhart, I can afford to loan him away. So I'm going to do that as well. Bolton Wanderers, you can have him. And we've also agreed for a price on Phil Foddett. All right, we're going to get them both in. All right, sweet, terrific. I gotta be honest, my assistant manager, he's normally bottling negotiations like this, but so far he's doing okay. That is a fair bit of wage, yes, I understand, but Again, don't really mind it too much at this stage. They're both going to end up getting around, I would imagine, 50 grand a week. Not bad for guys that are pretty much just going to be in my <laughs> in my goddamn uh, reserves for the majority of the time. Of course, I'll try to rotate and get them games because, I mean, they're definitely looking like great young talents, that's for sure. Five hours in, do we have any confirmation on any of those? They may, they may have both signed, no. Diaz has signed, Luke Garbutt has loaned away. So I'll accept that then. Diaz, you are getting uh, quite a fair bit of wage, I will admit, but you know what, I, I, can, I can live with it. And as soon as we get confirmation for the deal, and I think this could be it here, for Phil Fodden that he's accepted, bang, I reckon we're done. We've made all the signings that uh, really I'm keen on making. We could make more for sure, but I am going to cap it at this. That's That will do us. $261 million spent in deadline day as well, by the way, so... Little, uh, little over a quarter of a billion bucks. That's not bad. I want to take a look and see what the biggest deals were. Thomas Lamada Bayern was the biggest. We've got Mertens to Barcelona, Belotti to Napoli. That's a, I'd like to think that's a relatively realistic uh, signing. Maybe not so that much. Uh, Alian, I'm not, I'm not sure how to pronounce his. I'm not exactly sure what his first name is, but Gomez, 29 year old, to Barcelona for that amount of money is interesting. Forsberg to PSG, could kind of see that maybe. Marius to Roma can kind of see that. Carvajal goes to Manchester United. All right, that's an interesting one and. I thought we surely would have popped up at some point here. Like, I, I felt like we made some pretty big signings. There's a lot of them. There's that Costa signing. Surely, when does, when does Everton pop up here? Finally, the biggest deal that we had was Andreas Christensen to Everton for $36.6 million. That was our that was our biggest transfer. I thought it would have been Mitchie Batchwai, but no, I paid a fair bit for Christensen. And to pretty much end the episode, this is the last game that we've got in it. I'm going to rotate the team slightly, put Funes Mori in, put Plattenhardt in, and we're also going to put Kalasen in as well. He's probably going to start there, you know, for Ross Barkley because I can't take Rooney out at the moment. He's scoring all of my goals. Ross Barkley compared to Sigurdsson and Klaassen. Klaassen coming off the bench has been bagging more goals than he has all season. So I might keep Klaassen at that starting right attacking midfield role and Calvert-Lewin, I'm definitely going to play him just this one off because Batchwire was quite tired, but we'll see how he goes against Spurs away at Wembley. Finally, I've been waiting for this fixture. We're going to Wembley. It's not maybe going to happen in the FA Cup, at least unless we get it done against Chelsea. 
at least to continue on into the next round of the FA Cup. But we will be going to Wembley at least once for this league game against Spurs. Come on. So we have had to wait all the way until the second half of the season to come here. But finally, it is Everton versus Spurs at Wembley Stadium. And after two transfer windows, you are going to see a relatively similar Tottenham Hotspur team, except for one massive one there. Daniel Sturridge leaving Liverpool and joining Spurs. Harry Kane and Sturridge alongside each other. Interesting combo. We'll see how they do. That five at the back defense looks quite set. Two up top for, for Tottenham. We'll see how they go. Now, maybe. Gunner Gay. I'm loving it up the middle right now. Klaassen, can we take him on? Back heel if you can. He has got it to Rooney, but it's shot blocked. Oh my god, Calvert Lewin. They're all falling over each other. It's hilarious. Gunner Gay. Calvert Lewin. No, that pass is so far off the money. Fuck me, Calvert Lewin. You, I'm regretting playing you a little bit now. Very early on in the game. I'm sure that you'll get back into it, but geez, you've not been great so far. Rooney. Maybe now, Calvert Lewin. Maybe hit my words. Or Rooney. If he wants to make a run to try to feed him through. Oh, created some space. And wow, the shot was hit hard and fast. And still, I think Lloris maybe got a hand to it. Keane. And risky ball this. But it has worked. And then, oh, Calvert-Lewin. It's too easy when you give him that much space. Come on. 1-0 to Everton. They all just seem to shift to one side of the pitch. And look at that. Calvert-Lewin gets goal side of the defender. I'm not looking at exactly what, what Calvert-Lewin was doing before he ended up getting that ball to Rooney. I just saw him in so much space, and I was like, I'm not going to ask how he got that much space, but fuck it, we'll give it to him. And it's that simple a finish. Oh. Oh, no, it's a bit too much. A bit too much that time. It was a great ball to feed into Rooney, but unfortunately Rooney's pass to Calvert-Lewin was a bit too early. That's okay. 1-0 lead. Have we deserved it? Thought it's been pretty open, but I thought we've had the bulk of the chances. And in the end, the one chance that we got was unmissable. Good play. Can see a bit of a run. Can he head it back into a dangerous area? No. Marvin Plattenhart. Oh, ho, ho. that was a good strike, you know. Lloris, though, it's a bit too close to him. Keane picks it off. Lovely stuff. If you let it get past him, he would have been in, and we would have been in some trouble. Rooney now, the ball to him. Can he get something to it? Oh, Wayne Rooney, what a cross, and what a finish. Wayne Rooney to make it two. He can't stop scoring. This goal is incredible. Michael Keane picks it off. Delivers a sensational ball in a Rooney. And how he scores this, it's a toe poke in midair that somehow gets past Lloris at the near post. Freakish. Absolutely crazy. I mean, that all starts with Michael Keane's brilliant interception. Runs down the wing. Whips in a perfect ball into Rooney. And Rooney does the rest. It's And the rest makes it sound so simple. That goal was freakish. Here we go. And geez, are they pushing for it, aren't they? Opens up here, Sigerson gets on by, and three. The defense has fallen apart. Is this really legendary difficulty? How is this legendary difficulty? To be fair, they're playing a five at the back defense, and I imagine at this point in the game, they're probably going for it. There's still half an hour to go, though. How can they be so exposed? How can it be like one attacker on each? Def oh, it's too easy. I don't know if the game's too easy or if I'm just seeing shit in slow motion. I, I think I've become the one of career mode. I, I just, I don't really know. I don't know what is happening. I'm just, oh, it sucks. It sucks to be so good at a game, you know. Oh, I've opened my mouth. Ooh, I, I shouldn't have opened my mouth, you know. One Yama, he nearly made me pay. Kane could be in. Oh, it's poor defense. Kane. Oh, Pickford diving backward. It's poor defense really by me there. I didn't think he'd pull the trigger from that far out. Keane's going to come out in the game now, and I'm going to replace him with Kara. So our new signing comes in. Oh, no. How have we allowed that to happen? Slide tackle missed. Sturridge. Oh, there's a foul. No, not good. I think I might get a card for this. They have one chance. Harry Kane on set piece duties. Oh, God, what's happened? Oh, dear. Oh, the, manager's lost it. the manager has lost it. And there we go. Referee puts Tottenham out of its misery. A 3-0 defeat at Wembley at home, technically, for Tottenham. My God, what a win, and what a huge win. And that goal by Rooney, I'm still frothing at the mouth over. That was crazy good. And I think, again, after another result against a top team like that away from home and getting that good, I need to, again, bump up the difficulty. Like, the sliders, I've got to consistently take them up. Just to show it off to you as well, guys, in case you think I'm being funny, it's, it's all on legendary difficulty. My user gameplay settings are the exact same, 50-50 for everything. And uh, CPU settings, again, 50 sprint speed and acceleration, 40 shot error and passing error, and then 60 shot speed and passing speed. I'm going to 
Again, I'm going to bump this up by five each and every single time I come out of a game thinking, Jesus Christ, that was too easy, especially against a team like Tottenham. Same goes for the goalkeeper ability. That will bump up by five. And I wonder if we're ever going to get to a point where it's like 70, 75, 80. How far am I going to go with this? Am I going to get it all the way up to like 100 or something? Like the passing speed is just ridiculously over the top rapid and I'm still winning games. We'll see how it ends up, but we are playing Chelsea again and this is the team that seems to be giving me trouble. And now that I've bumped up the sliders again, I think this team's about to be just ridiculous, but we will see how it goes. We'll see how things go in the next episode, but right now we are doing so well in the league. We're still on top by a couple of points. Uh, the FA Cup still hoping to keep that going. We'll start it up with the replay in the next episode. Brought in some new signings. It's all looking pretty good at the moment. So until the next episode, my name is the Master Bucks. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good one.